Okay, so we're going to break down Collingwood versus Brisbane Grand Final. We're going to look at some key matchups, the keys for the Pies, the Lions, and we're going to break it all down. So stay with me and we'll see how we go. So first of all, we're going to look at the side. Um, they're, they're, we believe there won't be many changes. So obviously McStay goes out um, and we think Frampton will come in. News just in that Taylor Adams is out. Um, so we don't have to worry about that one. And I reckon the Lions will go unchanged. The subs, um, I think, will be the same. So it'll be Lyons and Ginevan. And both of those subs had a bit of an impact. And emergencies will be Noble and Gunston. That may change a little bit. Okay? If you look at the key matchups here, and you can maybe um, zoom in on them, but you look at the back line for Collingwood was one of their strengths throughout the year. So we think Howe will pick up McCarthy. That's a really good matchup. McCarthy's very good overhead. Howe can work that as well. Uh, more on Danaher. Quainer on Cameron, Maynard on Raynard, Murphy on Hipwood, and we're not sure where Dacos will start, but we reckon Bailey will start forward. Dacos could start anywhere, so he's a bit of a random one that could start forward or even in the midfield. The wings are really important with your Dacos side bottom. Um, Berry will definitely start there. Zorko a little bit unsure. Fletcher will definitely go through there as well with Hoskin Elliott running through the wings. So you can see how we've set up the rotations here. Um, we think Archie will roll through the forward line and Markov will definitely go through the back line to add a bit of run there. So there's your back six and your forward um, six there with that rotation. These wingers will definitely rotate. So Dacos, Sidebottom and Hoskin Elliott, they've been doing that all year. And as we said, Berry and Fletcher will 100% be there. Not sure on Zorko. Then you look at the Collingwood forward line. Lipinski, Majacek, McQuarrie, Hill, Cox and Elliott. And you can look at those matchups there. We'll be around the mark. We won't be far off. I reckon Andrews will start on Majacek. We're not sure about Gardner or Payne. Apparently Payne's trained. We'll be, we'll be playing, but we're not sure. Payne will be the man if he's fit. But Gardner um, has proven to do a good job as well. Um, and then on ball, um, you've got Cameron versus the Big O. Pendlebury, McCluggage, and Mitchell and Neal. With Crisp rotating through there, and also Dev Robinson, the man with no shirt, he'll be rotating through there as well. So you can see how I've set up the ground. Each area's got a rotation, a forward and back rotation there for each side. You've got your wing rotation, and Frampton and Wilmot. Frampton will go through this forward line, and also through the ruck with Cameron. So Frampton might come forward, Cox might go in the ruck, and Cameron might come off on the interchange, okay? So that's how we reckon it'll set up in the grand final. I don't reckon we'll be far off, but there'll be definitely some changes. The keys to Collingwood winning the game, okay? They need to limit the uncontested marks Brisbane have because Brisbane like to control the game and they like to move the footy up with hit-up leads, control the footy with um, nice lows, set, set kicks, and go with that. So Collingwood needs to be really aware and man up and be accountable. Collingwood needs to continue to play their team defence. They don't really like to defend one-on-one. -on -one. They press up and they impact. If, you think, if they think they can impact that contest, they will leave their man. And they've got to trust that the guy behind them will come up. So that's really important that their team defence works really well and they press up and impact. This is the key here. Collingwood need to be brave with their ball movement. So they need a counter punch from defensive 50. That's how they've been scoring all year. Um, and they need to create overlap run, handball, overlap run. They need to continually change lanes with their kicking. They can't just kick down the line and let Harris Andrews and those likes intercept mark. They need to, this is one of the biggest keys, they need to keep the ball live, okay? So create chaos in the game. That's when Collingwood play well. And this is something they haven't done too well. Collingwood need to keep the ball in their forward half for longer if they're going to compete against this mob. So they need to get it inside 50, pressure the, um, the ball coming out, and set up a good defensive structure. The Lions keys, they, they love to control stoppage. That's where they're really good. So if they control the stoppage, they probably go close to winning it. They need to keep possession. So as we've said, Brisbane like to kick, mark, kick, mark, and keep possession, chaining it up the ground and they need to limit their turnovers, okay? But if they do this, if they play a bit slower, then they can set up their defensive structure behind the ball, um, and they, they, they set the tempo of the game. Brisbane love getting deep inside 50 entries, so then they can lock it in, and then they can press up the ground, and then they hold the ball inside their forward 50. That's what they're good at, 
If they get that territory game going, pressing up the ground, they will probably win. Um, and they also need to limit the intercept marks that Collingwood have. They need to lower their eyes going forward and take this bloke, Darcy Moore, Maynards, Howes, Quainers, can't let them taking intercept marks. They're the keys for each team. We've got some key matchups. The Pies, they need to watch Harris Andrews and limit the intercept marks he takes. So this matchup here with my check is crucial. My check might actually take Andrews out of the play and be a bit of a dummy lead, but he's got to make sure he gets dangerous so Andrews go to him and the Pies should go around him there. Coleman, so this is crucial. Lipinski on Coleman. Lipinski hasn't been great of late, so if I was fly, I'd be giving him a job to shut this guy down. You cannot have him getting 15 or 20 kicks because he'll carve you up just like he did to Carlton. Lockie Neal, Brownlow medalist, he's the one that distributes the ball out by hands and brings the likes of McCluggage, um, Barry, Zorko into the game. So I reckon we get the pig on him, get Mitchell, he's got to get dirty and he's got to get in there and, and be on, on Lockie Neal at that contested ball. Very hard job. Um, and these three here, Rayner, Cameron and Bailey. So they're all up here. Maynard on Rayner is huge. Quainer on Cameron. And then Bailey, we'll see where he starts. He's a bit of a wild card, but they're their X factors and they killed Collingwood last time. So they're the key matchups the Pies need to watch. The Lions, obviously this one here, Dunkley on Degoe. That's probably where the game could be won or lost. If Dunkley shuts him down a little bit and beats physical, um, it's going to be tough. I think Degoe, um, that'll be a tough one. He might have a bit too much burst, but we'll see how Dunkley goes. What are they going to do with this guy, Dacos? Okay, obviously Bailey probably won't line up on him, but we put him there because they're wild cards. They can play anywhere. Um, so have they got a plan for Dacos in the in the back line in the forward half? Because he's going to rotate through all three areas. Darcy Moore, okay, big one. Whether it's Danaher or whatever, all they've got to do is bring the ball to ground. They can't let Moore intercept Mark, and they've got to be dangerous and really work him over because that's where Collingwood generate their run, their counterpunch from defensive 50. And finally, um, the Lions really need to stop Elliot. okay? Elliot had a bit of a quiet one last week. I can't imagine he'll do it again. But this matchup here with Stasevich is going to be crucial. And Stasevich can do it. He's good in the air, good on the ground. And that's a perfect matchup for Elliot. So finally, we're going to go through the matchups. If we think Collingwood's going to win that matchup, we're going to go green. If we think the Lions are going to win that matchup, we go yellow. So Howe versus McCarthy, I reckon the Pies win that one in green. Moore v Danaher, I reckon Moore gives him a bath. Quainer and Cameron, I'm going to back Quainer, but it's a real tight one. It could go either way, okay? Maynard and Rayner, okay, that's a tough one. I'll back Rayner with this one. Um, I think he's a dangerous player. Murphy and Hipwood, okay, I think Hipwood's got potential to hurt Murphy. This one will leave because they're the X factors. I don't think they'll play on each other. I think Dacos, uh, sorry, we're green. I think Dacos there for Berry. I think Dunk, I think Dugowie over Dunkley. I think he's got too much burst. Um, I reckon side bottom's got um, Zorko's measure on the wing there. I reckon this is your worry. I reckon Coleman might give Lipinski a bit of a touch up there. Andrews on uh, Majacek. McQuarrie and McKenna's a good one. I reckon that's a 50-50. We'll leave that one. Hill on Leicester. I reckon Hill might be a bit of a danger. Depends here. If, if Gardner plays, we'll go Cox. If um, Payne plays, I'm going to go with the Lions. And with Elliot, we'll back Elliot in over Stasevich. Okay. Cameron and, and Oscar, the big O. I reckon they cancel each other out. Penderbury, McCluggage. We might go the young fella. Again, probably cancel each other out. We'll probably give it to Neil there. When you look at the bench, okay, very similar. Have a look at that. There's good matchups all over. You decide who's going to win. But that's what we reckon is going to happen. We'll see what happens. My prediction, I reckon the Pies by 10 points in a low-scoring game, 72 to 62. Um, Norm Smith medalist, I'm going to go pretty obvious. We'll go to Goey for Norm Smith. And first goal kicker, I'm going to go, uh, we'll go Rayner for first goal kicker. So there you have it. That's a long post. Good. <laughs>